We've been at odds a little bit and we've gotten some flack for that. So I think we kind of are surprising people. Welcome. Thank you so much, Kenny and Armando, for joining us today to talk everything 90 Day Fiance the other way. Really appreciate your time today. Oh, you're welcome. We're glad to be here. Of course. Well, before we get into your story on this season of The Other Way, I've got to know, what couples on The Other Way are you really enjoying tuning in to watch? I know yours. I know yours. I I think it's the same one, huh? We like Brandon and Mary. We're really enjoying watching that. We're invested, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Who isn't on the Brandon and Mary train? They're fascinating. I know. (laughs) I just... Waiting. I think Mary's the first person that cries more than I do. (laughs) (laughs) He said that last week. I said, yeah. (laughs) Maybe, yeah. (laughs) Well, your storyline this season has been so emotional, and and you've both been dealing with a very important issue about whether to have another child via surrogacy or via adoption. What's it been like to share that personal story with everyone, hearing everyone's input now that it's airing? Well, um, it's really wild because we have done the show for a little while now and we really forget that things are on TV when we're actually um, filming. We don't even think about it um, anymore. So it is wild to have this out in the open because most people, this is a private, very private kind of decision and conversation. And I think we threw a lot of fans and supporters of ours um, for a loop because we're usually very united on everything and with the move to Mexico City or not and having a baby we've been at odds a little bit and we've gotten some flack for that so I think we kind of are surprising people but I always say you know because we're really good at compromise and I always say sometimes compromise doesn't happen in an instant sometimes there's disagreements and conversations and it happens a little bit later but eventually it does happen. Yeah, absolutely. And we've been watching you kind of navigate these tough decisions together. Have you landed on a final place with uh, going forward with surrogacy or going forward with adoption at this point? We have that. Uh, we, we've we been talking about this for a while. And I'll, um, I mean, I'll talk specifically about the baby um, decision. We, I've been... Now I'm pressuring Kenny because he's like, it seems like he's been pushing it and pushing it and pushing it. So pushing it um, back, <laughs> pushing it back. Yeah. So um, it's like, I'm ready for him to make a decision. And that is something that's going to be decided on the season. Yeah. I, I take the blame. I've been dragging my feet because he started talking to me, you know, two years ago about it. And I kind of thought, let's see if he just like forgets about it or something, but he didn't. Um, it's a real thing. And um, it does come to a head and we do figure out what we are going to do and what is best for us. Mm-hmm. And one thing that I might note too, we had a lot of people on social media and that saying, didn't they have this discussion before and all that? We did discuss it before I even moved to Mexico because I have four kids. He had Han- has Hannah and we both knew we didn't want any more kids, but people change their mind and Armando over time changed his mind about it. And people have a right to do that. Yeah. It's almost like you're real people who change (laughs) and and can come to those kinds of conclusions over time. (laughs) that. (laughs) Well, as you're going back and forth about this, as you said, people are used to seeing you both really in a good place and united. What's it been like to go through a difficult chapter and then again, have that play out for everyone on TV? Uh, Well, it's, it's been hard. I mean, it was hard when it happened. Uh, just, we've always, like Henny said, we've always agreed a lot. We've, we're always on the same page, even taste, you know, the things we like, it's always the same. So this is one of the first things that we're butting heads on. So it was hard to, to go through. Um, and it's been hard to navigate, uh, not agreeing, but at the end of the day, uh, we love each other. And, you know, that always, um, shows up, you know, in between us and, uh, ultimately we want what's best for each other. And Kenny always says, we always give 1% extra. So we we have sat down and, and thought, you know, we have to give a little extra think about the other person and decide on what we want to do. You know, when we had that big discussion and he kind of walked off on me and I, it was a big miscommunication, a lot of it um, and everything got mumbled. But it was a lot of emotions involved with that. And 
it was it was intense. I, I even think it was more intense than what showed on the screen. Mm-hmm. And we really didn't remember. It was such a blur in our minds, you know, when you have things. So we didn't even know what to expect when it was going to be aired. It was really something that really does happen. It really is reality. Yeah. And you're in a unique perspective where when you do have these emotional discussions, these arguments, you can watch them back later. Has watching that back given either of you new perspective on how things happened or how you reacted in situations? Yeah, it, 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 it for one has helped us um, to be better people also, but being able to watch uh, things we've lived has been has been great for us, great for our relationship. Um, and like, it, it's helped us, especially when there's, I had a certain thought, he had a certain thought, and we we can look back on that and, and see, or sometimes prove to each other, see, I was right, or <laughs> I had a point. Especially when you hear, you know, fans siding with one of us, it's like, okay, I proved my point. <laughs> <laughs> um, to be honest, 90 Day Fiance has been really good for us. Um, it's been really good for his family. Um, it's really um, opened us up a lot more, and especially opened up Armando a lot more with coming out and everything. It really kind of put him on a pressure cooker that he had to like g- do something and had to make a change. Mm-hmm. And it really pushed him along with me, give him a little shove here and there um, to make changes in his life so he could live his life. Yeah, absolutely. And this season, as you're you know, discussing these emotional topics, you both dove deep into experiences in your past, the shared loss that you both uh, experienced with past children. How did that experience of, of being able to share those stories with one another help bond you more or help move you forward together uh, as parents? Let me say this because, you know, we taught, we both knew that these things happen. We both mm-hmm. knew that we lost um, babies like that. We never delved into it a lot deeper. Mm-hmm. When they came out on the boat there, that's when it really came out. I didn't realize how much it really affected him. Mm-hmm. Um, so it was a good conversation to have. And now I, we both feel each other a little bit even deeper now yeah. because of it. Yeah. Yeah. Cause it was something, for example, that I, it's, it's a pain you have that you kind of just leave it behind or try to put it away because it hurts so bad. So it's sort of uh, coming out there. Um, it, it was good to have that conversation. And that's why you see, you know, these tears and, and us getting emotional because uh, it caught us by surprise but it feels good to be able to have someone there that's listening to you and understands you more because of it. And having this shared loss definitely um, has bonded us and then brought us closer together. Yeah. Well, as you look back on this season, I know it's not over yet, but as you're looking back on the season, is there one thing that each of you took away from it or one way that you feel like you grew? Yeah, I think, Every season, every scene, almost everything we do um, makes us think or uh, I think improves us a lot. Um, We get a lot out of it, to be honest. Um, Our families get a lot out of it um, because a lot of things are said and spoken about that we probably wouldn't have if it might not have been for the show. Mm -hmm. Um, You agree? I agree. Yeah. 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 And do you think that there are any misconceptions that are floating around there. I know you said you were getting a lot of flack from fans and that's kind of new for you. Is there anything you would like to set the record straight for uh, before people see the end of a season? The the big thing is because with us, we don't get a lot of hate, which is really surprised us from the very beginning of the show. We get a lot of love and we're very appreciative of it. So when there is like what's going on so far with us, arguing about if we're going to move or arguing um, or talking about if we're going to have a baby, they're not used to that. And then they think that all hell broke loose with us and we don't have a right to have a disagreement. And we have a right to have a disagreement as well. And some people even said, oh, Kenny's gaslighting or manipulating him or Armando's manipulating him or they're going to do this or that. And it's not the case. Sometimes people might overthink it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um, And a lot of times I think, you know, just let the season play out. Um, and everything will come around. Yeah. And every, everything that we've, uh, shown on the show has been us. We've kept it real. And I think in a lot of ways, that's why, uh, fans do appreciate us, you know, because they can tell through their screens, how 
real we are. And we have, uh, that was an agreement we made when we decided to do the show was to always keep it real, never fake anything, just be ourselves. And I think it's paid off in the end. Yeah, absolutely. Was well, there anything that you are really excited for fans to get to see as the rest of the episodes play out? Yes, I think, I mean, for one, deciding on everything that's going mm-hmm. on in our lives, but also uh, Kenny sort of pushed me out of my comfort zone here coming up in one of the next episodes. Um, mm-hmm. We go out to a club. A strip club. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> Yeah, it's a little embarrassing to do it in front of your husband or like to have a dance girl on you in front of your husband. So that's a lot. It was fun. You're going to see a whole different side to this guy. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am very excited. <laughs> so is he. Well, yeah. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for talking about your journey. I can't wait to see how it all plays out. And we really appreciate you taking the time. 